So first exercise. We're going to take it from here. Yeah, I have my feet together. Um, balance is on my right. And I'm bracing him with my left hand. Very important to keep the embrace. A little bit lower, you can see my hand here. So it's a little bit lower, it's not here. Be careful, it's not on the neck. I see this sometimes. Yeah, and so, I felt it too. <laughs> yeah, it's here on the lower uh, part of the shoulder blade. So I'm staying in axis. When he sent me, the first part to send me to go off axis, I'm stretching like I showed you in the exercise before and displacing just the hips in this case. Trying to get the shoulders in the same angle, not twisting. And I wait here until he does more colgada, more of axis position. And then he will go and I stay here the more I can until he is bringing me back to center and oh, back on my feet. So if you notice all the time I'm displacing lower body, nothing happened on the upper body, not going out with the head. The opposite head goes to the leader. And this is how I feel the colgada lead. So now, for the leader, we are staying in, we are positioned in a parada position, correct? Remember the points we were mentioning? Here's the thing. We are going to lift her. By lifting her, she means she knows that she, she's going to stay in one leg. And by lifting, she can recognize, okay, a colgada is, is approaching, yes? Now from here, lifting. And that comes all from my legs. Now, point number two is going with our rib cage forward to point half of the way. Yes, at this moment, she's a little bit off axis and I'm still center. I'm not hanging yet because I'm solid. Now, from here is when I'm going to elongate my right arm. I'm letting go just for you to see it. And moving my left rib cage back. This will be the idea. And from here, taking a breath, breathing in to bring her back to axis. And now we accommodate our body weight just as an exercise to come back to the same position. One more time, yeah. Yeah, no, let's keep going. <laughs> yes, one more time. We're going to do this one lifting. Checkpoint before going all the way off axis, I'm just going half. It's like testing, testing. Are we, go, are we good to go off axis? Once we test, we can go even farther. Counterweighting leaders with the left rib cage and body weight on your right. Make sure you are not on the left. And now from here, breathing in, bringing her back to axis, make sure she's in axis, and we can release a little bit the embrace. Stop! We have something very important to let you know. Before we continue with this second part of the video, we would like to invite you to check out our website, mediumleonardotango.com, where you can be a member of it and access over 200 classes that we have so far. And we have a lot of videos about colgada, so you should see it. Now, let's go to the second part of this video. Just pay attention how many steps we have before going 100% of access. Yes on the colgada. So we have little Emotion. steps in between. Please respect that when you are leading or following the colgada, because if you go from zero to 100% colgada, if I do that as a follower, I will bring him, I will take him off axis, I will pull him. If you do that as a leader, you yes. want to push her and you want to follow her to yeah. the floor. So respect the zero, 10%, 20%, 80%, exactly. 100%. Returning is the same. Returning, we go gra gradually to the axis position. So it's not in once and return. Yes, Very important. that is correct. Now, mentioning this, remember for the leaders especially, we were talking about going with the entire body and growing taller with the legs. We are not using the arms. We always mention the legs and the upper body. Why we would like to say this? It is very common for the leaders to do this. This is wrong. Please don't do this. Send her from your arms. Yes, it's like, for example, sometimes we stay back and it's like, okay, off axis, off axis, pushing. If we push her, she will not trust us. Yes, because she actually needs support. Yeah. Imagine if we are pushing her, she will not trust, she needs support. Also, it's a different part of her body or follower body. When you push, if you push again, show that wrong position. If you push, she will go out with the upper body yes. instead of lower body. 
what you want from the follower is to go out of axis, going off axis from lower body, lower body, but not head or shoulders. So this is the big difference between moving in one piece exactly. compared with sending her with the torso. from the arms. Or torso. Yes, with the, with, the, with the arms, yeah. Yes. Make sure you don't, you do not use the arms. Let us show you this one more time. And actually we're going to show it from the back. Yes, yeah. so you can see how also the embrace work. We're in a parada position. My arm is surrounding her all the way to her lat. So from here, I'm lifting her, going to the checkpoint, a little bit off axis. I'm solid in axis, but I'm supporting her because she's a little bit off axis. Now we elongate my right arm and we pull with the left rib cage out. This way we can be in balance. Look, look my leg on the back. We are both well, hanging. We are both hanging, that is correct. Now we, are, we can tap for balance and bring her gradually breathing in into her axis. Thank you, thank you very much for being here until the end. That really helped us grow in the channel, believe it or not. Yes, remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Now, see you next week.